Hello snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host Avron Lefebvre and in this video we're going to be reviewing the new Battalion Thunder. This board features Battalion's dynamic camber with free ride 3BT and sidekick technology. So you got traditional camber underfoot, slightly set back, and then you've got their free ride 3BT which has more uplift in the nose and less in the tail with sidekicks, so it helps really scoop out those tips. Basically, it's gonna give you better float and pow and ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as not making those contact points hooky. This board is available in seven sizes, 152, 156, 156 wide, 158, 159 wide, 161, and 162 wide. I rode this board on a typical Colorado pow day. We had fresh snow, high winds at the top of the mountain, low to medium visibility, pockets of fresh snow, there was some ice in spots, perfectly groomed corduroy, ungroomed, it was just everything in between at Copper Mountain, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. Clearly it is a directional flex, so let's talk about this board. It's basically a softened up Omni, so what you get is Softer nose, stiffer tail. But, let's talk about this. It's softer nose to the first insert, stiffens back up to the back front insert, then it gets soft again through there, then it stiffens up in the tail. So it's, it's got a weird flex pattern to it that really lets you manipulate it. And there's a fair amount of torsional flex. The overall flex of this is about a middle of the road. Now, for the most part, it's stable. And I say for the most part because in really, really like firm snow that's rutted out, you get bucked around. But if you're riding fresh snow and it's a little like chopped up, it plows through it with ease. When you're on a groomer, you might notice a little flap in the nose, but it never resonates back underfoot. This is a board that's designed to make sure you do not get foot fatigue, but it's still lively. So it's not like a fully damp, dead deck. This isn't the snappiest deck I've been on, and it requires you to be a little more calculated with how you load and how you pop with it. Basically, if you're used to old school traditional camber, you're not gonna have a problem with it. If you've been riding any other variation of camber, you're, you're probably gonna be a little fucked till you learn how to adjust to it. But with that said, it's actually easy to engage for the most part if you know how to engage and load camber and pop. You just gotta be aware that, you know, you have to preload it to get it to snap. And as said, it's not the snappiest deck out there, but it gets the job done. It is a free ride board, so who cares how it butters? Probably someone that's watching this, so let's talk about it. You got 3BT and Sidekick to really scoop out the tip and the tail. The nose, obviously going to be the high point of buttering, but the tail, still not a slush. With the way the flex pattern is on this board and how you ride it, you do have to get your weight way out over the nose or way out over the tail, so a little bit of speed and some muscle go a long way with it. It's not going to be the best, it's not going to be the worst, it's just going to get the job done. If you like 3BT, you're not going to have a problem carving on this board. If you don't like 3BT, you're probably not going to like it. The big thing with this board is that you have those elevated contact points from the 3BT, so it actually brings in the contact point, in my opinion, more towards being underfoot. So you steer it like a cam rocker board that has added contact points underfoot, so you're losing that drive out in the tip and the tail. With that said, this board transitions smoothly from edge to edge. You'll notice that it rolls without any delay. You like you can just go toe to heel, toe to heel, and never really worry about it. It grips well for the most part on edge. I did notice that like about one out of every 30 hard heel side carves, it would kick out of me. I attribute that more towards my lack of riding 3BT as a daily thing, and more just, you know, it's my fault, not the boards. If I rode it more, probably wouldn't have the problem. Short, tight, quick turns, long, hard, drawn out carves, everything in between, it's got you covered. You don't have to worry about it. You can grip it and rip it for the most part, as I've already previously mentioned. And if you really want to carve, this board actually does not suck. So who's this board for? It's for the free ride rider that wants a board they can charge with, but still be laid back. It's got three BT and camber underfoot. Comparable boards, the Yes Pick Your Line, the Ride Super Pig, the Niche Maelstrom. In my opinion, 
since this is based off the Ladies Storm, it's kind of like a softer Omni that's been mixed with the Magic Carpet, which is totally a good thing. So if you found the Omni too stiff, this is probably what you need to be looking at. But overall, this board, it was solid. It did well. The only time it didn't do well was in that hard, blown off snow at the top of the mountain, which just about any board would have sucked on. I mean, no, I just didn't want to hold an edge. I mean, if, you know, you got high winds blowing everything off. But overall, you know, you can rail a turn with it. It's snappy enough that it gets the job done. I mean, there are snappier boards out there. And that 3BT that this has got really floats well in powder. This has been my review of the Battalion Thunder. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the content we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.